let's let's get this all out of the like. You know I mean, like we have a crossover fan base, and it's like it's weird. It's like where where does your your principles really lie? And so, like, I guess I could kind of lead me into into this conversation. What you mean, like, like where do your principles, like, do you think leading into this uh, political corruption conversation, right? Do you think your principles evolve um, as you get older, as you get older, and you learn different things, or? Do they do they kind of remain like a pillar of who you are as a person, right? Like, do you think you're you're like if you ran for? I'll ask you like this: If you were to run for political office, right? Do you think your principles could be purchased, or are you or are you a fraudulent person from the get go? Kind of a loaded question. Is this a serious question right now? Especially since all the stuff that I had to tell you earlier in the day about politicians and how I feel this entire system is. <laughs> I, no, look, yeah, no. I it, think that there are it, some people that that have uh, good intentions when they run for office, right? I had a conversation with a, a friend of ours uh, who mentioned that he was thinking about running for for office, for politics, you know, something local. Okay. Well, it could be a council member, councilman, something like that, right? Um, mm-hmm. And I think, by the way, if if anyone is if you're gonna make a change in in anything, it, it's at the local level. Uh, that that's yes. where like those changes will happen. Right. And, and and there's corruption there too, by the way. Like you know, families that live in certain cities or neighborhoods that just don't leave. All right, we certain. can talk about Cubans in Miami and that political yeah. machine over there. Uh, and yeah. then all of us now they now they have people coaching the 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 U the Hurricanes football team his yes. father was a, a politician i mean it just goes on and on and on right yeah. um but i think that there are people that get into it with with good intentions uh, i think those are very very few and far between i would say at least if we're talking about like at the state and national level i was looking at uh i forget the website i have to bring it up but there are websites for every for every like I was looking at DeSantis, who's raised like forty five million dollars. Yeah, uh, and then there's a pack called Raised. Friend, friends. Raised sounds weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Friends Raised sounds weird. Yeah, friends of of DeSantis or yeah, friends of DeSantis. I think it's what it's called. It's a pack, and I mean, where like, there is really no. I mean, there's no mom and pop. There's, yeah. no, there's no real no, regulation, no... right? But like. Yeah. Yeah, like these packs are formed and $45 million. Like yeah. there are people that cannot raise that kind of money. And um, that determines really who gets placed into office, right? So if, you, if you're telling me that certain companies or certain uh, sectors of business contributed to your campaign through, you know, packs and, 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 and other areas, right? you don't think that you're going to be beholden to them? Hundred percent. Because the more money you get, the more that you can advertise, the more that your face is put out there through where whether it's on TV, radio, internet ads, all these these things. At the end of the right, at the end of every ad, it's like, oh, this ad is sponsored by DeSantis or whomever. Like they give their thing at the end. But if yep. you actually hear these ads, they're just tearing down their their opponents, and right. it's whoever has the most money is going to get the most airtime. We'll call it airtime, yep. but you know, it's through the media. And that's that's what decides elections. It's not it's not the people, right? Because we've seen the gerrymandering that occurs uh, in all these For districts, yep. and so it's not really the people because the, these crazy shapes and how these things are gerrymandered. You would think that someone that votes doesn't belong to a certain district based on where they live, but then you look at how the maps are drawn and and mm-hmm. and you see, oh, so there's that corruption, the gerrymandering process, and then there's the how people maps. are. Yeah, and then there's super packs, right? right. If you don't know, if you're, not, if you're listening to this pod or watching us now, um, PACS stand is a is an acronym it stands for Political Action Committee, right? right? It's it's the way that po- and it's and let's just call, it's the way politicians can be bribed and and legally bought, <laughs> bought and yeah bribed legally without there being any repercussions or or them being put in jail, and politicians still become like do dunk stupid shit like. Uh, Duncan something from California went to jail because he was using his pack money to like fly his mistresses all over the country uh-huh. and the world and all this stuff like that. That still happens. And the, the thing that I want to get clear and and clear cut with this is that it's both parties, right? Like this isn't like, oh, the because you know what I'm saying like, oh, the Santa's like, no, right now we got Joe Manchin a Democrat, oh, yeah. in, in office that's 
single handedly destroyed uh, paid family leave uh, and a bunch of other programs that would help regular people to get the the bill passes like one point five seven tri- one point seven five trillion dollars that's completely corporate backed where they get they get more tax cuts on top of the ones that they had before they get all these all these uh bonuses and all this stuff that our money you know i mean that 1.75 mm-hmm. trillion is our money that we put right. into it that just kind of gets passed and like oh okay we got to do this but he was fighting it on the side of no we can't help people we can't raise the minimum wage we can't do all these things that help regular people because uh my corporate my corporate donors and gods won't right. allow that so it's it becomes crazy to me like when when people get bogged down by the identity politics of it where like, like oh it's crt is so, like no man like people these are all this is all a distraction if you don't follow the money if they're not wearing nascar jackets with all their logos of their owners you sh- this is what they don't talk about that's what really mainstream media doesn't cover because they have you know I mean, it's the same donors it's the same companies so they're not going to call out their own advertisers Saying that yo, Joe Manchin's the number one guy in in coal, gas, oil, everything, uh, to make the money. Right. That you pulled up. I want to show you this because it's and this is public information. This one is transparencyusa.org. And yep. if you look at the bit. the donations, I'm gonna zoom in. I believe it's right here. Here we go. So check this out. Republican Governors Association. Federal, whatever it's cut off. Yeah, it's an entity. Five million dollars. This is since 2018. He's raised. I want to scroll up again. His yeah, pack. Yeah, Forty-five million for, of donations. Yeah, he's running. <laughs> they, he's running for for president in 24. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so and so that was one of the things that I saw that a lot of these donations are coming from out of state, out of yes. Florida. So mm-hmm. it's not for his. Because he's not running for Florida for governor of Florida or anything within the state because he's running. So you, so you can already see like the audit, the money trail, right? Like these donations yep. are coming from out of state, which means, OK, well, our interests, they have nothing to do with Florida. But he was receiving mm-hmm. them before mm-hmm. beforehand while he's still while he's still governor. So it tells you that, like, hey, we want to support you to run at a national level. Yep. Right. And it's so, our, yeah, the groundwork gets laid way before the. the of course. The, the nomination yeah so look at these these individual contributions this is a a pack these are th- this is public information so i don't think i'm revealing anyone's no uh, this is all public information, information here yeah um so these are the contributions that he's received i like the name of the florida prosperity fund that's yeah. nice mm-hmm. um five hundred and five thousand dollars bring big yeah, capital everybody Sounds knows like a, reg- everybody yeah. knows regular people have just a half a million dollars just laying of around course ready to donate to a politician I mean, floridians that's, that's, for a stronger democracy i like that i, I love pack. the that's name solid, of these organizations a solid pack name yeah, yeah. <laughs> floridians <laughs> united for our children's future i'm gonna i'm gonna get rid of this but the, uh so that's uh, just that's, a little bit if that you, last one has to be a crt one right that last <laughs> one has to be a, has to be a crt thing i believe yeah, so it's 100%. gotta be yeah, yeah children's future okay yeah that's yeah it's it's wild yo uh, while, while we're talking about it pull up the joe man stuff like because his donors he, he's the number one guy he's the number one guy for get his uh his his donors check out his donors look man like oh man it's, let's let's get this all out of the like let's stop acting like any politician that you've ever spoken to uh-huh. cares about you cares about you right like right you no know, the so the like the idolization and the uh, let me see if i can find them the obsession of oh this 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 guy's gonna do it. Look, I fell into it, right? I I fell into it on the lighter side, like with, with Bernie. I was like, yo, man, like he's saying things that he's saying things that I like. I, I'm all about health care for all. You right. know, like give, giving some of the money that they gouge out of our, our out of our paychecks, giving it back to us, and us being able to actually reinvest it. Which why well, I like the the stimulus packages and all that stuff. But we're still at. We talked about it when it was happening. Like we're getting crumbs of the trillions of dollars they've taken for all this time. And it's Republican and Democrat, right? Like that's, it's not, it's the only real party is green. Like that's the only thing, that's the only thing that matters. So it's this whole thing. It was like identity politics. It's just like, when you get bogged down into that, the conversation kind of dies. Cause it's like, if you're not, if you're not talking, if you're not talking money, then you ain't talking facts. Right. You know what I mean? Like it just, it gets, it gets crazy, bro. And it's like with this whole thing with, uh, with the the build back better bill 
and all this other stuff was like nah, the one there's one per, like it's not like Joe Biden really wants to do that. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't mm-hmm. really want to help people. He has his donors too. Trump has his donors too. You you see it already on the screen and listening to it. Like the Santas, all of these people that you think are legit human beings and care about America, like they're they're being told they're puppets and being told what to say because it's all about these huge corporations being able to buy back their stocks and make more money and fire a bunch of people to make more money after that. That's that's it. Like, stop thinking it's anything else. Yeah, I mean, look, let me pull up mansion stuff. I have it. It's not, it's from a different site, so I don't know how complete they are. I'm mm-hmm. sure that there's an actual there's an actual government site that I could probably find, but for interest of time, I'll just I'll pull this up. Okay. Um yeah, these yeah, you asked me. You asked me who I, I. I don't vote, man. I don't vote, and people will say, "Well, that's your right," or "You're not doing your duty as an American citizen." And and I don't even know why I, I'm allowing you right now to drag me into. We're not really talking politics because this applies no. across the board. We're talking just yep. like finance and how this all stuff. Get, this is why I don't. This is why I don't participate in the process. Yep. We're talking. We're we're doing a uh, not a superficial. We're we're doing more so an overview. I guess yeah. the best. we're doing an overview. Like we don't want to get bogged down. Like we've done that already, John. Right. We're we're 125 episodes deep, or 140 episodes deep, and we've done we've done probably 60 episodes purely ranting politics. Mm-hmm. We've covered that already, but this is more so like because this is the stuff that bothers me. Was like, hey man, yeah, Open Secrets is legit. Young Turks, yeah. uh, Young Turks cites them. So, so yeah, this is this. for the 2015 2020. Um... Cycle campaign committee only raised almost uh, nine, a little over nine and a half million. This is how much they spent. Uh, and then they have cash on hand that's two, two, almost two and a half million. So that's probably money that rolled over from the previous cycle. Yep. Um, then the leadership pack, or I think we can probably pull up the money from both of them right here combined actually to show you how much. Oh, here we go. So donations he's received eleven million. Well, yep. And then if you look at the twenty twenty two cycle, and I think he's up for reelection in twenty twenty four. Yeah, twenty twenty four. Already over a million. Yeah, so he's over at third almost fourteen million. 14 million. Yep. Kind of funny how that money went up when he has to block a bill that that can help regular Americans, right? Yeah, that's kind of. Oh yeah, like, is it regular Americans that are sending him money so that they can nah. get that? <laughs> so when people talk about this, and, and and I I don't care about the the you know Democrats Republicans. When people talk about nope. this person represents me, I, I I just I don't have conversations. I I'm you and I are talking about this because this is how you know I'm explaining to you why I don't get involved. No, this right here, that's who he represents. Yes, and it's not you that's and it. I. You might be giving five bucks here, ten dollars, twenty dollars. Some people might sign up. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me sign up for a five dollar recurring monthly, ten dollars. Re- I'm gonna do my tithing to my celebrity politician that I that I love and whatever. But the majority of his money is not made up by that. It's made up by those things that I showed you, right? Ron DeSantis had a individual contributions of five million dollars from a couple of people. He had another mm-hmm. pack that had five million dollars. Another. Look at this. Ryan LLC, $99,000. Another corporation, $89,000. Energy Transfer LP, $87,000. Enterprise Products Partners, does any of this sound like a person to any regular people, right? Industries, securities and investment, lawyers and law firms, oil and gas, uh, retired real estate. Um. I want to see how much is coming from, yeah, from uh, the total, from individuals, from PACs. Now, again, uh, some of these individuals are high net worth individuals. Obviously, yes. those are the people that can afford to contribute uh, these large amounts. So, it's it's to me, it's it, I have conversations with with family, uh, have family living overseas, and they're very adamant about the U.S. system and what a great system it is. And I'm not saying it's not. I think it's a it's it's it could be worse. Right. But uh, right. Th- this is family that's lived through what's going on in Venezuela and they left. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. anything is better than, than that. I can, I, I understand that. But at the same time, it's, um, 
I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. I, I don't get involved in politics. I just do what I got to do. I, I, yeah. I worry about my family. I worry about making money, starting yes, up some side businesses, and don't let myself get carried away with these deep uh, conversations about the state of the union. Yeah. Because, because we're, we're not, like, we're not doing not, anything not to change it. I, yeah, and, and what, and the thing is, like, that's the other side of it. That's really. very pessimistic, and it's terrible. But you know, but realistic though, right? Like, it's also that part of it, like. What, what, how do you, how do you, how do you combat that? Right? Like, what are you going to do? Try to take money out of politics? Impossible. They got more money. They, they got everybody in their pocket. Other politicians aren't going to be like, hey, you know what? I don't want to make a hundred thousand dollars extra. Uh, you know what I mean? Or I don't want to make, I don't want to run for a higher office and make 10, 15, 20, 40 yeah. million dollars and have everything taken care of. And then just me having to talk to other rich people and have my entire life pampered. I get it. I get, like, I understand that, that, that's psychology, right? But again, it goes back to what I asked you at the beginning, right? Like, I, to me, all these politicians don't really have a principle, right? Or or morals or any. It's it's their only their only benefit is money. So to to attach yourself to somebody like that without looking at the full the full spectrum of it and what it really is is just weird to me, right? Like. I, I, I've never understood that for anybody, right? Like I, I've never, I, I've never like worn a t-shirt, put a bumper sticker of any politician ever. You know what I mean? Like, or, or, right. like it's just not my thing. Like the most I've done is bought like a Dwayne Wade jersey. You know what I mean? As a fan, like I, I'm not, I'm just not that person. Like I, I don't, I don't look at other human beings like they're like, oh, I gotta, oh, I gotta look up to you. This is, this is it. This is my guy. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna buy a red. I'm not gonna buy a red hat and go to, a, go to a rally. You know what I mean? Like. I didn't, my... I didn't go to pep rallies in school only only because I had to. You know yeah, what I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah, bro. Like it's that rah rah shit ain't for me, man. Yeah. Like it just it isn't. Like, yeah, I'm pessimistic about it too. Like I was telling my wife the other day, I was like, I don't think I'm ever gonna vote again. Cause it's like I had I had some I had some hope, right? Very little, probably one percent, right? One percent that like, hey, maybe these progressives that are in there, these mm -hmm. people that the entire establishment hates, they're gonna they're gonna rally together and do a, something to, to make some people uncomfortable, mm -hmm. and they did nothing. They just every time there was every time that that bell was rang, they Deontay Wilder. You know what I mean? They they couldn't they couldn't get up. It just it didn't happen. They were Yoel Romeroing out here in these streets. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean, man. like that's yeah, terrible. yeah, like that's what they did. Like it's what they did with this bill too. Like all they needed was three, right? Three people were like, "Nah, man, we're not gonna do that, and we're gonna move on." They didn't. So it was like, who who am I supposed to care about? Look, and that's such a terrible outlook or, or way to, to look at things, right? Because I'm not saying that's correct that I say I don't vote, I don't get involved. Because if you don't get involved, then how how are you going to bring about change? Um, but the thing is, like when you, it has to be a massive movement on on the part of the people, and then the change that happens is minimal. But people get so excited because oh, it's a change. But you know, yeah. it's not changing. The politicians that are in both yep. red and white, it's still the same people. Yep. It's still the same people making the same decisions. And so they just For change decades. a few things here and there to make it seem like there's a change. When in fact, like, and maybe that, you know, like you said, we get the crumbs, but at the end of the day, like you're still getting crumbs, like, and people get excited. Well, yep. it's, it's a step in the right direction. Look, man, you got people that have been in there since, you know, for 10, 20, 30, 40 years, like they're just, they're not leaving they're and, not, and they're not I, changing. And I don't think that that's that. I don't think that that's a, a healthy way to, to run this government. Like we have government employees and that's one yep. thing that are there. They're not legislators. They're not making laws, but then you have the people that are making laws and they're 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 They continuously get reelected, even though a lot of people but disagree those, with them, but you find the same people there. And if, and then if they don't get elected like at like the state level, then all of, now you find them at like oh now they're a member of Congress or they, they come back to yep. like it's just crazy they rotate they yep. you know and I've seen some like some Carrillo. people some people that that were Republican and now they're Democrats or the other way yep. around they yep. find a way to get back in there to help the people right but I, yep. I know what people they're helping and it's not me so yeah I, I no, stop no, getting no, involved it's like. I'll, I'll we'll wrap it up and we'll move on from this, right? Like you said something that that's brilliant, right? Like there's people who work in, in government for 40, 50 years, right? There's people who 
Like we knew people when we were in the service that did their 20 years of of enlisted, then mm-hmm. got their degree, and then went officer. You know what I mean? Yeah. And did, ended up doing 40 years because it, it just rolls over and then they do all. all that's very different because right. none of those people can have packs. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like none of those people that wear a uniform that have a clearance of any kind can can do the things these politicians do. So just look at it that way, right? Imagine if the guy in charge of your fire department, you know what I mean? That isn't that isn't a commissioner because that gets voted for. Mm-hmm. That's like a captain or whatever. However, like imagine yeah. if that person was paid by the richer people in your community to just cover that part, which happens, right? Because that's I mean that's that also happens. Like right. lower level, like I said, at that local level, it happens yeah. too. That local yeah. level happens too. So it's it's so pessimistic, and it's I, like I just feel like ah, fuck it. You know what I mean? Like it's it's. Like I, I couldn't find it. Just it is what it is. Like, what, yeah, what are we gonna do? Yeah, you ruined my mood. You wanted to talk about it, but at least we only talked yeah. about the financial aspect of it, and even that is like depressing to see. Like, man, so that's how, like, that's how much money they're getting to get bought that's and how have are made. and have their and have their best interest at heart and not mine. Yeah. But have these yeah. people's, these corporations, these wealthy individuals' interests at heart and not mine. Yeah, that's how that's how decisions are made. Yep. All right, man. Let's 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 lighten this up a little bit. Look, man. Uh, I am talking about crazy cults. Yeah, I am situationally infatuated with cults. Right, like not. I'm not going to start one. Not going to join one. I think they're. I think they're ridiculously weird. I understand how they happen, kind of, sort of. But my my brain can't wrap my head around again idolizing one person. And be like, oh yeah, of course you can have sex with my wife. Cool, bro. <laughs> cool, David Koresh. Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> I can't. But no, yeah, you go ahead. I, I got to be a, a, a virgin for the rest of my life, but. You get to get my wife pregnant and do all that stuff and make it a blessing. Yeah, sure. Get the, get the hell out of here. Uh, last night before we 